Would you like to know the secret ingredient to making a lasting change? If you're interested, stay tuned. One of my really good friends, Cecilia Rose, had a statement that she always said to me when she was coaching me. She said, you've got to keep at it, Karen, because it's the drop, that last drop that splits the rock. The drop that splits the rock. That's a lot of drops before that rock is going to be split. She would say, don't underestimate the value of small improvements. Keep it up every day. Do it every day. And what Cecilia was telling me was that the secret to success was consistency, doing something over and over again and doing it every day. But you know what? Consistency is hard for me. Um, I took the Myers-Briggs and I am an ENFP. That P says I'm spontaneous, right? I like to do things on the spur of the moment. I change my mind often. So for me, consistency is kind of boring. Um, I want results really quickly. Um, I would go on diets and they would say you lose two pounds a week, maybe a pound a week, but stick with it. And I would get bored because I wanted to have quick results. So my dad, my dad was the expert on consistency. He's a golfer. And um, every day when I was a kid, I could see my dad out in the backyard with a nine iron chipping shots into a box. He practiced every single day. He was really good at golf. When I got older, he would say, come, let's go play golf. Every time I visited them in Cleveland, well, to get ready, I had to go to the driving range, right? I had to like cram it all in and, and practice in that driving range so I'd be ready for my dad. When we got out on the golf course, and of course my shots weren't making it, I would complain. And my dad said something to me that has stuck with me. He said, you haven't earned the right to complain. He said, you're mad at your game because you only play once a year. You don't practice. So I have been thinking about this consistency. I've been thinking about it in my work. Um, and recently, I had a lesson that I'd like to share with you, a personal lesson. My knee's been bothering me for years. And I went to the doctor and they said, you're going to need knee replacement surgery. And about the time that I heard that bad news, I got a puppy. I got Rosie. And um, I was thinking, because uh, she was jumping all over, that she was probably going to hurt my knee. So I thought while I was uh, having the surgery and in recovery, I would send Rosie off to, I call it dog military school, training so that she would come back and she wouldn't jump on me and things would be perfect. So everything was going really well. Surgery happened. Uh, one week went by with no Rosie. I was really glad I put her in a military school. And two weeks went by. When it was time to get Rosie, the trainers brought her to me and they spent about an hour and a half training me on how to continually train Rosie. See, I thought she was going to come back ready to go. I thought she was going to come back kind of fixed, so to speak, right? But she didn't. What they told me was that I was going to have to spend a little bit of time every day with Rosie. A little bit of time. They said she could only take about 15 minutes. And I got it. What you do every day is more important than what you do once in a while. Because if I'd gotten Rosie back and um, every month, you know, we do an hour or two of training, it wouldn't have worked. But every day we did a consistent training. She's really good right now. We're into our sixth week and Rosie comes when I call her, she stays down and you know what? She doesn't pull my knee when I walk her. So what I've learned is that consistency is the key to behavioral change. There are three things that you've got to do. I've thought about this a while because I wanted Rosie to get better. I wanted her to be a good dog. I wanted my investment to work, but I had to be a part of it. The first piece is that you've got to buy in. You've got to have the desire, the passion. There has to be a reason for making the change. There has to be a reason that you do it every day. So I'm going to call it passion. And I was passionate about her getting better. But number two, I had to keep at it. Um, every day, even when I didn't want to go out there, when it was raining, every single day, I had to be persistent. I had to be persistent. We had to do it. And the last thing, you got to have patience. For me, I want things to happen right away. And I've had to learn to just slow down and to enjoy and to be patient. So you need a little passion, persistence, and patience. And you too can grow with consistency. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. It's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.